welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm joined as always by my Velt Traversing Squad of Elvis and Kanijo. When we last left off, we were in the town of Mobliz, and I said that I was probably going to purchase a few things off screen. I have purchased those things. Uh, Elvis has the Mithril Claw, which is new. Ninja Gear I already had in my inventory but did not equip him with. Kanijo now has one Kotetsu and Iron Armor. On top of that, I also purchased uh, one additional Iron Armor, two Heavy Shields, two Mage's Hats, one more Plumed Hat, and possibly most importantly, I bought three Dried Meats. And a few tents to round it out, but most most importantly, I got the dried meat because we are gonna go back out on the veld today, taking on very very simple enemies. Unless they just constantly spam all day, what the hell? Should be easy enough to take out. Just a regular fight should be more than enough to take those guys out. Did not happen that time. I'm going to keep battling here in the Velt until something happens. I'll let you know when it does. And here's Tweak. After a battle is finished, he has a chance to show up. Uh, he's hungry. So, let's get him some dried meat. Here. Have some, Tweak. It's good for you. It's not as good as the coffee, but I think you'll like it. Uh, he's he's thinking about it. He's considering it. What the? Thou art so odd. I am Kanijo, and he is Elvis. You Elvis? You Kanijo? You want more food? No more for you. You go. Get more for me. You're a regular munchkin. And you, afraid of me? You want to fight? Me not want to hurt you. Stop looking at me like that. I don't know what this is. I think that's supposed to be them fighting. Yeah, it was supposed to be them fighting. It looked like they were dancing to me, but what do I know? <laughs> You're pretty tough. Have fun. You strong. There they go again. Me like dancing. You good leader. Like I said, that's what it looks like to me. Shut up. Sit me down, sirs, and thou, O oh wild one, who might thou be? Thou? Thou, thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. You angry? Kanijo, you angry me? Kanijo, you angry me? Kanijo. Listen, his family was just... Me understand. Me sorry. Me not mean person. Look, we can't have ye two prancing around all day. Tweak, I think we're going to get on well together. Why don't you join us? Ah, I give you present. Tweak, give Kanicho and Elvis a nice gift and thanks for food. What manner of rubbish do you suppose he's gonna... Tweak's treasure! Shiny! 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 Can anything be that shiny? Does Mr. Thou like shiny thing? Mr. Thou's that one over there! <laughs> shiny thing, eh? Think how jealous Luke's gonna be when he hears about this. Luke does love the shiny things. Who be Luke? He bad man? Maybe he tries to steal my treasure. Luke, well, he's... Uh, Listen, when someone's talking to you, I think he's trying to tell us something. Uh, Alright, carry on. Here, here! Shiny thing here! Uh, Elvis. Place where you buy food. It called Mobliz. Kanijo. Place where you stand. River brought you there. Now, we go Crescent Mountain. Shiny thing there! Look. Let's just go along with him to this crescent mountain. You have something to say about this, Elvis? <laughs> Why'd we invite him along anyway? 
Mr. Thou, hurry up! We're leaving! Hey, I'll trade you once, I'm not Mr. Thou! And now it's time for another tutorial. Because why not another tutorial? It's Kappa! <laughs> That's a real thing. Uh, here's how to build up tweak skills. Choose Leap, a command that only appears when you are on the Velt. Keep fighting on the Velt and tweak will reappear. You'll have learned the attacks of the monsters when you were fighting when he leapt and returned. Wow! Wow! Choose the command Rage and you can use any of the attacks he's learned. Please continue your quest. Thank you, Kappa. Ah, uh, you fell, stupid demon. And if you haven't already guessed, Tweak has joined our party. Let's take a look at him. He is uh, the same level that we are, which is pretty standard. He, as you might expect, has nothing, and he looks drugged to all hell, doesn't he? Uh, he doesn't really have like a weapon so <laughs> he's going to have to stay in the front row uh, in terms of well let's take a look at his stats compare them to our other fighters battle power 109 better than anybody else unfortunately he does still have to stay in the front row uh, his defense is well adequate I guess uh, considering that I just equipped him vigor eh, speed Faster than Kanijo. Uh, stamina is decent. Magic power is surprisingly high. Uh, evade doesn't matter, but you can see it's pretty high. Uh, magic defense uh, medium, but his magic block is pretty high, so he can still evade, which is very, very nice. Uh, in terms of his skills, can we look at his skills? Uh, yes, we can. Let's take a look at Rage. He comes equipped with Brawler, which they don't give us any information about. I'll go over these eventually. <laughs> Whisper, uh, Were Rat, uh, Rhinotar. These are named after the enemies, uh, not the uh, not the actual skill. Lobo, Hornet, Trilobiter, Exocyte, M Tech Armor. That's a good one. And I think that is it. As you have probably already guessed it because Capo kind of hinted at it. The only place that you can learn more skills for Tweak is here on the Velt. Um, that's also the only place that you can get him once you have sent him off to some things. So, what I'm going to be doing now is getting more rages for him. There's a few that I want to get while I am here. Before we move on, uh, there are quite a few. Uh, and then I'll try to go over uh, what some of the rages are when we get there. I'll be right back. And that is enough rage grinding for today. I have quite a bit of money. That's actually not all the money that I earned because I went back and bought a white cape for Tweak. I also gave him the Atlas armor that we had. Uh, in terms of the rages that I have acquired for him, there's quite a list. Uh, I don't remember what we started with, so here's just what I have. Uh, I will say which ones I, I believe are relatively important, and we might see why later on. Uh, how this works is Tweak pretty much leaps with the enemies, and by hanging out with the enemies, and by the way, you can kill some of the enemies and then have him leap. Uh, whenever he leaps, that's the end of the battle. It just kind of lets you leave the battle, but it's only on the Velt. When he leaps, and, and he pretty much copies all of the enemies in that fight, he copies their move pool and their kind of formula for how they calculate how, how to do certain attacks. Uh, that He doesn't copy it exactly, but he copies it more or less. And then when you are in battle, he doesn't really just plain fight ever. Uh, what you have to do is you have to pick an enemy for him to mimic more or less based on the list of things that he has memorized. And still going and I think that is the last one. 
therefore he doesn't really ever attack on his own. And he can actually use magic, so that is why he does use, uh, well, has a high magic stat, I should say. Uh, that That's as much as I can really say without just showing it off. Uh, some some of the rages are definitely more important than others. Uh, Telstar obviously is going to be pretty sweet. Uh, one of the things that actually works out very, very well is that if the enemy floats, so does Tweak. And Float will stay with him between battles. Uh, there isn't really that much of a use for that just yet, but hey, it's a nice thing to know for now. Of course, by the nature of the Velt, all of these are going to be repeat enemies. It's just how it works. So let's continue heading south. I think I'm in the right area. Actually, I've gone around the wrong way. Let's head around the right way. Uh, do you want to go to the left of this? Let's head around to the proper side and inside we go. Now, by the nature of the vault, some monsters are definitely tougher than others as well. Once again, it's just the nature of the thing. It's, it's a very strange place, like any, any Final Fantasy that I can think of. Tweak, what is it? Do you not know where it is you are going? Kanijo, the shiny thing Tweak spoke of is in here. You could ask him. He's right there. Uh, Sir Tweak? Where exactly is it? Tweak, forget! Oh, super. That's fantastic. Shall we look around? Indeed! Now this is, once again, a strange area. I don't think there are any random battles in here. However, there are random cutscenes on specific spots inside this cave. Here is the first one. Not over here. Now I believe there's another one over here. What? He found it! Sweet! It's a tonic. Th this is Sir Tweak's treasure. Oh! No, apparently it isn't. Okay, so we'll just move on. Keep on looking for something. And you actually do get that tonic, by the way. Alright, let's head over here and see what else we've got. Ah, uh, sounds like you found something. Hey, uh, hey Tweet, what's wrong? Ow! Yeah, my pouch! There was 500 gil in it! Tweak, you! Oh dear, Sir Elvis, let me handle this. Nerd. And yes, you do lose that 500 gil. Unless you have less than 500 gil, then you don't lose anything. Which is weird. We'll just move on. <laughs> and I think that is actually it for the optional cutscenes. Here, there's just the one left when Tweak does find his treasure, which is right here. Is this it? Tweak's treasure? Treasure, yes! Looks like glass. I went way too fast through that. Didn't see the last line. Sorry about that. 